You know what I saw yesterday? What? Went right to the intersection. What? Just a unicorn on four wheels. Which? It's a smart car. Oh. I don't think they know what that is, though. Yeah. Dude. How would you describe it? It's like a car, but smaller. Yeah. Probably not anything they've ever seen before, though. Yeah. Nothing the audience has yeah. ever. I think maybe they have. What makes I feel you like think? they feel really passionately that they have. You think so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, just read the comments of the last episode. <laughs> yeah, no, I read them. I, I didn't get the vibe that anyone... <laughs> and now they... People really, really know smart cars. Yeah, I didn't get that sense of it. And they like them. No, that was... It, it was incredible. Yeah. Um, never mind the comments. Did you hear Bad Bunny ran someone over? What? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there, Why is that so believable? <laughs> like, that's the type of shit where it's like, that's so crazy, it just might be true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the TMT Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. <laughs> Holy fuck, Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer hit? Get hit by that car? Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, gay as fuck. Everybody, we are one week away. One week. One week. And to build a little stoke, uh, we actually cut the first like minute and a half of uh, this video that we're going to play during the Moment House show mm -hmm. that we spent a long time producing. It's a mm -hmm. great video. So enjoy that right now. I'm Mark L. Wahlberg, and this is The Struggle. Two opponents will face off head-to-head -head in tests of endurance, strength, and wit. Our first contestant, meet Noelle Miller. Hey, I'm Noelle. I want to bang my opponents. What's up? I'm Noelle. I'm 17. And I think about killing my English teacher sometimes. He faces off against Cody Ko. Hey, what's up? I'm Cody. I'm 45. I'm Noel's English teacher. And I'm really looking forward to today's challenge. Two worthy competitors facing off. Who will emerge victorious and who will realize first that the struggle is real? Where's the fucking key? <laughs> I'm gonna kill this dude. <laughs> Fucking God! I got it! No, I got no, it! No, no. Let me out! Wow, didn't that look great? <laughs> September 8th, buy a ticket, don't miss it. You're going to be sitting at home doing what? Nothing. We know you. Pull up to the show, moment.co slash tinymeatgang. It's going to be a great time. Buy a ticket. Buy a damn ticket now. All right. Without waiting any further, um, I hate... That I say without any further ado. Why? Because like I've never said that in my life. <laughs> but I started saying that when we have guests. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a guest. It's one and only Ron Funches. Ron, come on in here, man. Everybody makes some noise. Hey. Not this again. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Another dude. spaceship. Another week. Another spaceship. <laughs> oh wait, another one. We thought that this was like unique. Oh, uh, you no, no, not in my life. <laughs> okay, every week. Which, okay, where are we going this week? Oh wow, you've so been in a few. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. How does ours compare to the ones that you've seen? 
Okay, you got a couple heads in jars. That's that's upward. That people usually like that. That tells me you've been around a few solar systems. Yeah, you oh, know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you got all right. Got a sir. Oh, okay. You've been in the sweet baby Ray's galaxy. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah, we. That's my favorite. You got up and coming. I like that. <laughs> um, Ron, before we get into anything, I, I want to bring something. You know, we can decide to keep this or not. But do you remember a comedian named Andre Paradise when mm-hmm. you were out in Portland? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, he would tell. He was um, the guy that helped me get started in comedy because I lived outside of Portland, and sometimes I didn't have like transportation to get over to Portland or whatever and he yeah. had these shows in Salem and the other places these like tiny little shows in like Chinese food restaurants and stuff yeah. and he would sell bootleg DVDs <laughs> after the thing but he also taught me a lot about like you know how to dress for comedy how to prepare how to be professional so yeah I, remember, I certainly remember Andre Paradise. So Andre got me started in comedy. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He got me started in like 2014. Okay. Yes, yeah, similar thing. Uh, but the way he got me started was he told me, uh, he goes, hey, man, you, you want to come see me at a show? And I say, yeah, sure. And uh, we go to the show as an open mic. And he put my name first, and he just pushed me off the cliff. <laughs> so, yeah. You know the crazier story? He was my piano teacher. <laughs> Get out of here. I swear to God. <laughs> but knowing Dre, he might be. <laughs> oh, that. that's wild. So, Dre, if you're watching this, you, you did good. You did good. <laughs> yeah. You got two of your guys on a spaceship, man. We made it. We made it to outer space. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, he took me to the comedy store. It was like 2014. And uh, you were like on a billboard, and we were like driving all the way to the comedy store. And he goes, Ah, oh, man, Ron. And I'm like, Oh, you know him? And he kind of told me the story a little bit. And then when we got there, we happened to see you. And I, there's nothing you would remember, but I remember just being like, yo, that's the dude from the billboard. I was so hyped. So nice. it's kind of a cool like little. I and, love oh, hearing so, that. By the way, let's like, give some context for people listening who don't know Ron. I mean, I think everyone probably does, but a comic, you're a legend. Yeah. You do so much now, dude. You're on like five different shows. Yeah. You got <laughs> two you podcasts. <laughs> you stream on Twitch. Uh, like you're on, you're you're a baker, you're a wrestler. Yeah, dude, <laughs> dude, it's like all of our favorite shit. Yeah, we have that in common. Yeah, I'm a I'm a huge baker. I love baking. Like we got super into wrestling. Yeah, we, um, yeah, I watched your whole CGW match. I have questions because, uh, man, it just first of all that match was so long. I was curious, like if you can talk about it, like how did you prepare for that? Because it's intense. Like the different like escalations in the story are crazy. Thank you. Can, can thank we have you. it run maybe in silent just as we're talking? Yeah, show yeah. some clips of it. I love it. Um, thank you for noticing that. I mean, I was surprised at how long it went. Um, basically, it started. The whole story started like years earlier when one of my friends passed away. Actually, another dude who um, would come and do shows with Andre Paradise with oh, wow. me, a guy named Will Woodruff, mm-hmm. and he um, passed away. And I just, you know, you you kind of kind of get into your own head about your own mortality and i was like what are some things i want to do before i die and i always wanted to only things i ever wanted to do was be a comp comedian or a pro wrestler hell yeah and so i started going to this place called santino brothers in the bell guard that's where that's where we train that's where we train (laughs) hard as hell yes yes Yes. oh my god that shit is no joke no joke at all Did you get the day where they made you do like they were like let's do fifty squats and then they kept adding more? And <laughs> they they more. cut that out because we had we had shot for so long and they could see that they were gassing us out already, so they they let us live. But that that's what they were like kind of threatening. Mm. Like they were like they were saying to like Nima and and uh, my fiance was like helping produce it. She, they were saying to her like, so. Are, are you sure we can't do the squats? Like, you don't think they're going to have any energy? And she was, like, protecting us. She's like, no, no, no. I think they're going to gas out. Oh, I wish that happened for me. <laughs> I had to do them all. Oh, we didn't end up doing 300 squats. And I just, I went home. I got, I mean, I had never even, I didn't even know I had cow gone. Yeah. And I just started pouring wherever would go in my tub. And I just lived in that <laughs> tub for, like, two hours. Yeah. It was the worst. Wow. And they actually, uh, I mean, because that's what they do, right? They're real serious. So mm. they'll beat it out of you if you don't really want to be there and they mm. did that for me i was like you know what never mind yeah but then i met um i'm friends with a few wrestlers and one of them reached out to me who uh was this guy he character played slapjack on yeah. wwe yeah. <laughs> so this 
Paul Shear, by the way, that yes. you walked out with? Yeah, yeah, he walked out with Paul. And he just kind of made it more fun for me. And uh-huh. we just started doing, um, you know, just, I would show up for an hour. We'd do different roles, different stuff. And I learned a little bit more. And it was more chill pace. Yeah. And so then I kind of was like, hey, let me actually try to do a match. And I met Tony Deppen, who was a uh, you know, real professional and real good at it. And we just put this story together. And I just knew, like, I'm not going to try to do, like, a million moves mm-hmm. so let's build this story out where i have like my partners i have people come out i have dan housing i don't want to ruin it yeah but it's yeah good. no no it's you good you like uh, yeah i mean you call him out already so i just say when when dan housing shows up i was like whoa this is this is not i mean the crowd everything but even even still if, if you're not if you're not familiar with wrestling uh i feel like this is like a real entertaining way to kind of like dive in a little bit because i felt like it had a little bit of everything as far as you know silly i mean it definitely more moves than i i, I thought i would do yeah when i did full canadian destroyer <laughs> yeah so. i mean it gets crazy yeah <laughs> the, were you nervous in front of a crowd like i was that? super nervous the whole time I, i'm used to doing stand-up and stuff but like for to have to be athletic with it was uh, a completely different experience yeah and like and, remember choreography and stuff yeah right? like yeah. oh yeah i remember what we're gonna do and then luckily like tony again was very helpful in like reminding me if i forgot something or if i wasn't doing something exactly he would tell me in my ear and stuff so like it, jer- like in the ring mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's like the thing i don't know a ton about wrestling but that's um like the mark of like a like a very high caliber wrestler is like they can, can improv or... yeah they can do calls like yeah. on the floor uh, i see yeah yeah, basically. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Tony's real good. Yeah. So it's fun. I got power bomb somebody through a table. It yeah. was just really, I lived all my dreams. And then <laughs> uh, afterwards, I went out and one of my childhood favorite wrestlers was in the back. And took, this guy named Too Cold Scorpio. I grew up watching when I was a little kid. And he was on this independent show. And I didn't even get to talk. I wasn't like, I'm not going to go talk to yeah. the real wrestlers. And he came up and he's like, oh man. He's like, he's like, they told me you're not even a wrestler. He's like, but she's like, but you would, you would you damn sure entertainer and i was like man this is damn, like damn that's so through. sick yeah. high praise yeah yeah the the i mean this gets it gets so wild i that's the only commentary i'm gonna throw out there because i don't want to spoil <laughs> it yeah i guess like, people should just go watch this yeah guys quick interruption we want to thank the sponsor of today's episode draft kings the wait is almost over a new football season is about to begin get ready for the nfl week one action with draft kings sportsbook an official sports betting partner of the nfl to celebrate the return of football draft kings is giving new customers a can't miss offer can't miss. bet just five dollars on any football game and get two hundred dollars in free bets instantly he doesn't miss <laughs> Want more action for opening night? Everyone can experience the thrill of DraftKings' early win promotion. Get up seven, you win. Bet on any NFL team of your choice, and if your team leads by seven points at any point during the game, you get paid instantly, even if your team loses. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. Best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code TMG to get $200 in free bets instantly when you place a $5 bet on any football game. That's code TMG, only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See the show notes for the details. <clears throat> so your prep, that's interesting. So you, you trained at Santino Bros, and then you were like, this is a little too yeah, too, too much intense because they were like, <laughs> you got to start coming early and help setting up the ring. You got to consider, like, quitting your regular job and coming and helping <laughs> oh, out. Oh, and wait, I didn't know about that. I was that. like, I already went through this yeah. for comedy. I'm okay. <laughs> I know how this plays out. Did you yeah. go to like their little like storage mm-hmm. unit with the ring in it? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I went for like three months. I went for you know was it like three hour class? Yeah, like, three months you went there. Yeah, running back and forth and that full hour pre hour before you even get to do any of the moves. Yeah, I really it was you know and I never. I never done like team sports or anything like that in high school, so it was kind of my first time doing anything like that. So I actually, I hated it and I loved it. I threw <laughs> up. I threw up a couple times. No yeah. way. Yeah. I mean, I I I don't doubt it. I think we were ready to puke after like a half day. 
in that thing. It got, it got so hot. It's so hot. Unbelievably hot. Yeah, and they're like, hey, you know, half of you are going to take these bumps in the ring. The other half just use this little wrestling mat that's yes. on the concrete. And yeah. you're like, well, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know about this anymore. Yeah. Can we pull up, like, just, like, a little bit of us? Our, so our... I want to see it. So we... We shot brothers. this nice. video for like a like a live stream that we did, and we yeah we went to Santino Bros dressed like this because we were like no, trying to play Eli up the characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, clearly we're the Ultimate Warrior influence is <laughs> very <laughs> obvious, but you know we're, we're basic bitches when it comes to wrestling knowledge. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so like Cody was saying, we come in there. With you know, with this uniform, we're thinking they're gonna sort of like appreciate it. Like, okay, they're trying to get into it, and they were just like just stone cold. They were like, <laughs> I feel like we kind of disrespected, yeah, them and the the establishment a little bit because we were like, we kind of came in and we're like not being that serious about it. But that's the whole point is like learning what it takes. Yeah, and they whipped us into shape. Like they really did. Yeah. So by the end, we had a whole new appreciation for just like. Oh, 100%. wrestling! And Did they chop you at all? Oh yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, what you was um? Slapped. What's the big guy's name again? Ah, uh, was it the big guy there at the time? Brody? Was it Brody King? No, it wasn't Brody. It's uh, the big Latino guy. His dad was a wrestler. Uh, um, yeah, I, I took like I took like three or four. I was like, give them to me like for real, and he like let me feel it. <laughs> and then, but he hit me with one to kind of like get my energy sparked up. Mm -hmm. And that one was hard as hell. <laughs> I, I felt that one like the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing that sucks is that you're like, oh, how do we learn how to fake these chops? He's like, no, you just learn how to take them. Yeah. You just learn yeah, how yeah. to get slapped in your titties real hard. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's literally it. And I remember we hit each other with a few good ones in the moment. We were kind of like, oh, ow, that fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's not good. No, man. people get their chest caved in sometimes. Yeah, man. yeah. Especially uh, the dude who hit me. I mean, he, his hand was like as big as my chest. So I felt that. I feel like people don't. I never realized that about wrestling. That it's like 95% real. Oh, like, yeah. Like when you get slapped or like thrown through a table or whatever, that shit's actually it's just, happening. Yeah, you're yeah. just doing You're actually that. feeling those things. Yeah. Yeah, no, like when we were setting up my match, um, the guy called me out and then he slapped me and some of the people, and I fall down and some people were like, oh, you got to learn how to take that slap better and not fall like that. And I was like, I didn't have any choice. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. He slapped me and my you legs really take a buckled. slap one way. Yeah, yeah. Just what happened. Yeah, the fake the only fake part of wrestling is maybe like the storyline. But that I think that's what gets interesting about wrestling that people don't really uh get either is the fact that you know, you can make shit personal in wrestling like depending on how you wrestle that person and um there's that, a whole thing right now where guys are mad at each other because the one guy calls the guy fat and now they like they they might not fight because if they fight they might fight for real. Oh wow. That makes it interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, see that's like that's the meta on wrestling that I think people always uh, don't get just as outsiders like oh why do people watch this? It's like no, it's this weird baked in drama that uh, isn't always on the surface. I've I've brought this up twice on our show. Wait, what? Just watching this. Oh, yeah. Reliving these moments. Yeah, yeah. It was absurd. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like your hair better now. <laughs> Me too, dude. Me too. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, that was a bit much. Oh, there's a nipple. <laughs> oh, old there's school. A little nipple yeah. Old yeah. school. Titty <laughs> twister. Okay. Just kicking him in right in the nuts there. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, this was after we did this. Though it made me. We, I mean, we came away from it. We we're like, dude, we got to do this in front of a crowd. This would be, you know, oh, it was real so like no fun. other. Because normally, because you you know, comedy, it's like so fun. That thrill of making someone laugh gives mm -hmm. you that rush, right? Yeah. And I had never felt the thrill of like someone caring about you that yeah. you're getting hurt yeah. like when i got hit and people go oh and i was oh, like oh that's cool oh that's a different yeah feeling yeah it was really fun real fun i really enjoyed it that must be interesting too because especially you know before you become like a, a household name i would even say like even in AEW and even in the bigger leagues you're still gonna have those moments where the crowd like maybe a skeptical on your character or they don't really like you. So that's gotta be a pretty intense thing when that first time where you win 
a big crowd like that on your side and that type of performance, I feel like that's just got to feel crazy. Or it must be extra shitty if they hate you. Hate you? Oh, yeah. If you're one of the dislike people. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Unless you want to be a heel. Yeah, if you want to be. Even if you don't want to be and they tell you you are, you're like, I guess I'll just be that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that was like at the beginning of the thing when we were like choreographing the the match or whatever and they were like, who wants to be the bad guy? Yeah. And we were like, oh, fuck. I and then they know. pointed at Cody. Did, yeah. How, well, oh, yeah. They yeah. pointed at Cody. They were like, well, he's kind of the pretty boy. He looks like softer and nicer. Mm-hmm. So and Look at that fucking hair. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What an idiot. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're the bad guy. Yeah. 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 So I ended up being the heel, yeah. which is fine. It made the story like fun in the context of the ring. Did you like being a bad guy? Yeah. I mean, I think I, I generally. Oh, yeah. It. You were the bad guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought I was. No, me. no, no. I generally enjoy being a little shit sometimes. Mm. So I, oh. I was kind of liking the. The, the heel aspect. It was definitely fun. Um, so I've brought this up twice on our show, but uh, I want to ask you because I feel like you would know. Brian Pillman, right? My understanding of Brian Pillman is like he's the guy sort of credited with starting the Attitude Era and mm-hmm. or like it, had he not died, like he would have been stone cold. I just want to ask like a wrestling person, do I have the right understanding of that or is there more to it? Um, I mean, I think I, I always there's a little more to it. Than, yeah. Yeah, but... He he was one of the. It's not like he was doing new things. It was more like he was doing old things better. Where like everybody was about being as real as possible okay. in like the sixties and seventies and stuff. Yeah, and then in the eighties it gets real cartoonish with like Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Sting, and characters like that. Got it. And then he kind of was the guy who brought it back to like these r- real things where people didn't know if he was acting or if he was for real. Right. And he would even like do it to like get out of his contract you know yeah like I, yeah I, I like i sort of understand that whole time like this is the dude i was telling you about where he like faked getting shot during a pay-per-view and he was on some andy kaufman type stuff yeah yeah, yeah. yeah okay messing with people okay that helps I, I just always wanted to know because the one person who's telling me about brian pillman even he is sort of like a casual or not actually no he's not really a casual but i've just been curious to ask someone else no, um, he's good. I mean, there's a lot of runs. But he knew, you brought him up, so now I'm going to go for a second. <laughs> yeah, go but for it. There were some different runs of his that are just enjoyable. The Hollywood Blondes era with him and Stone Cold Steve Austin as a tag team. That's two crazy Hall of Famers. One becomes the best wrestler, one of the best wrestlers of all time yeah. as a tag team. And you really could see like their attitudes and them being kind of like a sh- just real shitty hills. And it's real fun. And then... Um, wait, wait, when they were the Hollywood Blondes, did Stone Cold have hair? Yeah. No way, dude. Can we look that up? Yeah. I've never seen Stone Cold. Oh, what? <laughs> You're joking. Look at him. Dude. It was it was gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something yeah. there. Yeah, he he was <laughs> <laughs> It was in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Damn. Uh, but yeah, Brian Pillman was great and did some of his matches with like a this cat, get, Jushin Thunder Liger, this, mm-hmm. um, like some of my favorite matches. Made Jushin Thunder Liger one of my favorite wrestlers, and I went to Japan and watched Jushin Thunder Liger's last match. And I probably wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for his matches with Brian Pillman when I was a kid. Wow, damn! How how how, how much have you traveled to watch wrestling? Um, uh, I mean, a, a, a middle amount. I'm going to Chicago this weekend to go cool. see wrestling. Um, it's cool. It's, it's real. What's fun about it is then oftentimes I get like free tickets and stuff, so then it makes it feel real fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make me feel uh, as a kid I would have never imagined that. So yeah, is it? But Japan has probably been the only. I mean, I'd go to Mexico and see some wrestling. That'd be great. But um, I had always since I was a little kid, I was like, I want to go to Japan. I want to go to the Tokyo Dome, and I want to watch wrestling. And it was great. And I tell you, the part that I loved the most that I did not expect is that they let you bring your own food in at these ones in Tokyo. America in no universe with America. No, no way. Not at all. That's crazy. But if you wanted to bring a full ass picnic basket and baguettes and just a full (laughs) sand, you could do that. Wow. It's wild. Wow. Damn. (laughs) Hey, real quick, we'd like to thank the sponsor of today's episode, DoorDash. Did you forget that one thing at the store? Now you can get snacks, drinks, and household essentials in 30 minutes with DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. And now you can get 
the grocery store essentials you need with DoorDash too. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. And for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code TINY. That is 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code TINY. Don't forget, that's code TINY for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Did you watch the David Arquette? documentary i did yeah, what'd you think of that i thought it was great yeah he yeah. had um loved it. the guy that fucking slices nick, neck gage. nick yeah. gage was on his podcast oh yeah. yeah he yeah. came to my house did my podcast my wife was disturbed <laughs> 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 he's an interesting guy he's man. interesting he looks he's robbed a bank he looks like he's robbed a bank <laughs> yeah and my wife was like who's this why did you let this guy in her house <laughs> I didn't, yeah, what, what was the other, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember, yeah, the bank robbery, I thought he said, like, one other, like, oh, yeah, one phrase that he had on your show was, he goes, uh, he goes, I, I don't care, man, if someone's fucking with you, is if someone's fucking with me, I'm gonna fight him. I'm like, that's just such a crazy <laughs> mentality. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> like, just at, he like, has no walk away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like parking spaces i just like immediately went to like small innocuous things yeah. he's like nah like it's going down <laughs> right now dude <laughs> yeah dude yeah uh, have you had a chance to brush shoulders with david like after that whole thing or um no i don't think i've ever met him in person i've mm. talked to him online um talked to twitter and whatever friends with some of his friends but um i've never met him in person but i think it's super cool yeah to, like kind of have this mission that he had where he came into wrestling like 20 years ago and they made him the champion and everybody hated him and yeah. it like affected him so much that he was like you know what i'm just gonna wrestle for real and yeah. earn it and do it my way and do it an independent way and gain the wrestlers respects and he does it and it's pretty cool yeah. i mean i wouldn't want to have gotten st stabbed in the neck like he yeah did it. i would have avoided yeah that was a little hardcore part. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah getting his neck cut open yeah, for a little bit hey man that's the grind though yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we thought we were getting into when we went to santino bros yeah, <laughs> yeah. we were like all right they're gonna hack us open man yeah. yeah that's crazy the open mics of wrestling are so much more violent yeah. mm -hmm. than fucking stand-up open mics dude. yeah you'd be like wow like yeah i used to like come here and bomb for like three minutes but nobody cut me open and, yeah <laughs> yeah you know, in front of 12 people you know <laughs> no disrespect yeah <laughs> <laughs> no i mean that that means you love it you know what yeah I mean? yeah some would say too much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you uh are you are you working on much stand-up these days or yeah i've been on tour a bit just kind of wrapped up this tour to, to kind of um just get my hour together and yeah. stuff um um so now i'm just kind of doing little spot dates here and there i'm gonna be at like the brea improv september 8th and mm -hmm. then i'm going it looks like i'm going near miami and then some other places but for the most part i'm trying to um stay home with the baby as yeah. much as i can something that uh, i mean i guess no i did that with my first son too because i hadn't even started comedy then yeah so it's just something i like to do when the because it goes so quick so i'm trying to stay home with him as much as i can and yeah. try to write and try to act and try to uh host stuff i just like doing different stuff i don't ever want to be forced down any particular lane and yeah. like end up you know in some hotel when i'm 60 and some doing some gig i don't want to do i don't yeah. want that life yeah what's yep. like exciting you the most right now thank you for asking me um right now i mean i'm just pitching a project i'm really excited about with um with this character dan dan housing mm -hmm. and um it's really been fun, interesting. Some it's been, you know, some people turn it down, some people seem real interested. So we'll see how it works out. And um, I like, I just like writing and creating stuff for other people and helping myself out, learn new things. Um, 
I like my podcast, my wrestling podcast. I like doing that a lot right now. Uh, and then I like the show Loot that I'm on because I get to act with my Rudolph. Yeah, how was that? Like, it's <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's and amazing. is it crazy working with her? It's so cool. It's like, I imagine it's like, you know, working with someone like Lucille Ball or like, um, I mean, that's who ima- exactly what I imagine yeah. it's like because yeah. like she's such a legend to me and she's such a boss and like really kind and really um open to letting you pitch things and talk about things and like just really weird things like i remember just this small little thing where there was this line where they were like it said something i don't even remember the line exactly but it said something that i was going to try to do something and i just was casually talking to her and i go like uh, i don't like the word try in comedy because like try is in the middle Mm. And the comedy to me is either you made a decision or you didn't. Interesting. And then she was like, you're right. And she's like, just take it out. And I was like, oh, okay. Wow. Like, I was just, I was just talking. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And for her to be like, no, I get that. You're right about that. Take the try out. It is better if you just do or do not. Mm, and I was cool. like, yeah, that's just how I think about comedy. Does she yeah. write it? Uh, I don't think she write it. Okay. She wrote it. She just, you know, the producer on it. And um, we all can improvise a bit. So it's real fun in that way I, it's man i was gonna say just in your career it seems like you've been able to just do a lot of bucket list things especially at this point um it just to your point about like you know like working with Maya rudolph and then even like all these experiences you have with wrestling do you ever get like feelings where you're like do you think that's what kind of motivates you to try new things? Cause you always kind of want to like create those new goals and just have new things to aim for. Or is that not necessarily at the front of your mind? Uh, I mean, usually the thing in front of my mind is just, I just don't like to be bored. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I think, um, when I was coming up, I would always read a lot of things from like Pat Oswalt and all these other comedians. Mm-hmm. And they would talk about like how there's different worlds in comedy and that like, and, and in career, and then a lot of places, people use seniority as the excuse for like why they should be a place, right? Like I've been doing this 15 years, I've been doing this 20 years. But as we see in entertainment and anything, like you can be young, you can be whatever, you, you if you get it together, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You see like some people will have, you know, say they have 20 years in something and they've been doing the same year 20 times. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and so that has been my goal is to have a different year every time, is that doing something I've never done every time. And sometimes like I'm apprehensive about it because you get in your head about like, oh, what my peers are going to think, you know, even from the very beginning when I was like, when they were like, do you want to do trolls or whatever? And I was like, uh, Oh man, I kind of want to just focus on stand up and be real and get like specials, like my friends and stuff. And then I was like, "That's stupid!" Like all my favorite comedians, Robin Williams, Chris Rock, all these people, they did these big voice acting things, yeah. and that's what I grew up loving. Why wouldn't I try that? And then they were like, "Oh, you want to be on a cooking show? These baking shows?" And and I was like, "Oh, I don't know. That I don't know anybody there. I don't know any. They won't. I'll be the only comedian there." And then I was like, "Oh shit." I'll be the only comedian there. Yeah, I don't have to compete against eight, nine other comedians. Yeah, all trying to come up with the same joke, like on at midnight or something. You yeah, know? yeah. It's just I can just be me, and I'll be funny, and and people will like it. And it led to like you know I just went on Chopped and Cupcake Wars and these bacon shows, <laughs> and then like ended up hosting a whole yeah. show and it's like i didn't yeah you never know where it'll open. lead you yeah, exactly yeah. yeah exactly just be open i think that's such a great phrase i've never heard that like not having the same year 20 times i love row. that yeah i'm like gonna staple that to my forehead man i uh, think it's also cool as a fan <laughs> like finding out finding about out about someone through one thing and then learning they do all these other things yeah, too. Mm-hmm. yeah. like for people that love your stand-up that then are like wait he does Oh, he does Twitch too? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. I'm going to watch him every day. Yeah. I mean, that's the mission right now is connecting everything. Mm-hmm. Like, because I do get a lot of people who only know me from one thing or another. And also with the weight loss and stuff, sometimes people don't even, they're like, oh, yeah. you're that comedian yeah. from that, from, you know, from the purple sweater and, and, and <laughs> 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 <Damn>. <laughs> so I, I'm right now, you know, I think the Twitch and like just trying to, you know, stuff like this where I'm trying to mild it together so people know, like, oh, the 
the guy who does King Shark and that guy who acts on loot is the guy you can go see on the weekend and yeah. go, you know, because I'm trying to fill these rooms. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is the weirdest thing now, especially with the internet, is when you, you could, because you can do a hundred things and they have like, you know, all these niche little groups and I don't think anyone has like the, the catch all to like bring all those people together yet. I remember, remember we used to work like as programmers. I remember back in the day, Remember people used to kick around ideas about apps with like, oh, what if it took all your timelines from every app and it merged yeah, it into one yeah, app? And we're like, yeah, yeah that's never happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I did a couple of parties. I think like, yeah, my agency did one, invested in one of those apps. And we did <laughs> a whole thing. And I was like, six months later, they were like, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not app. What's that app, app you guys more? invested in? What app? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> no, we were just trying to have a party, man. We were just chilling, man. So, do you bake in real life? Um, not much because I've really been trying to focus on my diet. My right. wife's more of a, like she she made these like last night. She made these snicker tasting things out of dates, and I was oh, like, oh, that's the best. Yeah, are the best. She's just really just best of both worlds, healthy and delicious. It was great. Um, I so I don't bake that much in real life but it I is can't. hard it's hard to like control whenever i bake cookies like because now i'm watching what i eat a lot and so like whenever i bake cookies it's like impossible when you have a fresh batch sitting around it's like i'm gonna oh. eat five after dinner that's the thing that me and my <laughs> wife argue the most because sometimes i love a cookie like my yeah. favorite one of my favorite when i was a kid my favorite dessert was when you got a soft cookie that was like the size of your face like, yeah you're like man i'm about to eat good yeah you know full <laughs> head of cookie and now i'll tell my wife i'm like i'm getting these moves but i know so i'll be like oh I wish, can we just get like a healthy cookie and then she'll just be like there ain't no healthy cookie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. that's what i'm because i'm like i love baking so i've been trying to find like you know i don't know protein cookies or some shit and they just taste like ass yeah mm -hmm. what's the what do you think is like the healthiest thing you've made that is like passable is decent like you know oatmeal based shit but yeah. even that it's like there's yeah. just still tons of sugar in it yeah you know it's still you can't really skirt around dessert like nah you can't cheat it you know nah. yeah it just got, gotta be you like, got you're gonna eat it, it just fucking eat ice cream yeah exactly. don't eat halo top that's what she said <laughs> she said you gotta earn it and then just get what you want yeah and then move along yeah, yeah. because when you start doing all that little bits you you, you would do that every day because you never get satiated you yeah. never get satisfied yeah yeah also like oatmeal based stuff just feels like you're trying to compensate yeah mm -hmm. it just feels like you're lying to yourself yeah, yeah. it looks yeah. like breakfast yeah <laughs> dude um damn it I'm, sorry i'm fogged as hell right it's now. fun i thought we were having a chill conversation i'm yeah. really enjoying it hell yeah man yeah we should have brought weed yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would have loved that yeah dude he, he I, hates I weed it, man wow i know Do they still let you wear that shirt yeah i know right <laughs> <laughs> Poser. I know I got. <laughs> I am a poser. Yeah, I, owner clothes. Yeah, and man. Don't smoke. I appropriated the aesthetic, but yeah, I don't actually smoke. Got the full smoke. vibe. Yeah, dude. yeah. I should have wore the furry Birkenstocks. <laughs> yeah. That would have completed the whole thing, man. Damn, some of Ron's people are gonna watch this and they're gonna be so like projecting themselves onto you, and yeah. then you're like, he's not a stoner. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been lied to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I mean I smoke a lot. <laughs> i love token down <laughs> what's up guys we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode honey the easy way to save when shopping on your iphone or computer thanks to honey manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you will watch the prices drop. I love using Honey. It saves me money all the time. Clothes, tech, even pizza. It's super easy to use. Honey doesn't just work on desk. That's all the things I like. Clothes, tech, and pizza. Oh, if any, if anyone knows you, brother, clothes, tech, and pizza. Mm -hmm. Honey just doesn't just work on desktop. It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. So when you're buying pizza yeah. 
on the go or maybe some new tech yeah on your phone i mean you love that if you're at the clothing store yeah when trying to buy new clothes yeah and online you're searching for new tech you love that dude mm-hmm. setting up an order of a new bluetooth speaker mm-hmm. you know some just some bluetooth peripheral some internet of things oh dude tech oh yeah while munching down on a pizza mm-hmm. yeah that's your thing yep you fucking little slut <laughs> If you don't already have honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. <laughs> Cody has lots of solids after he eats that pizza. Get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's joinhoney.com slash TMG. Honey, be a slut for discounts. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember because my dad is just so much older. Like he had me like way later in life, mm-hmm. and he was trying to, you know, I was like ditching school a lot. And I was just doing horrible in school, and he goes, he asked me, uh, he goes, "Hey man, are you token grass?" And I just started laughing my ass off. <laughs> and he's like, "Is this funny to you?" I'm like, "Dude, you just asked me if I'm token grass. <laughs> that is a thousand percent funny." <laughs> He was so livid that I, even as like horrible as I was doing in life, I still had no amount of seriousness to like take him seriously in that moment. I know he- Dad, I'm smoking weed. Yeah, 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 you fucking dork. I just started bullying him. (laughs) I'm micro-dosing on mushrooms. God, you don't get it. You are so fucking out of here. He was driving. If he wasn't driving, I know he would have smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> like, I, just, <laughs> I like it because I can see how you're in your face. You're still relieved. Yeah, that he's yeah, 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 yeah. Just two hands on the wheel. <laughs> he damn near kicked me out of the car that day. He just, you know, fucking a. Anyways, dude, Guy Fieri's new show. <laughs> what a talk transition. about it yeah. hell yeah another another bucket list yeah how yeah. was that super cool is it, it out or no it comes out wednesday oh, this wednesday yeah. so i don't know when this perfect comes timing out. but yeah well, soon no this will come out the day of is it wait next wednesday you're saying or no, tomorrow tomorrow yeah this comes out tomorrow so hell oh. yeah it's out today <laughs> 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 i watched ron on guy fury's new show guys game night is me it's my good friend and mortal enemy bobby Mortenhan. <laughs> uh is brett michaels is rain michaels is my friend carmen morales and it's a bunch of fun food-based games with guy fieri who i did not know i mean he is like if Santa Claus is real, it's him. I've heard he's the nicest guy in the he's, world. He's, he's is so he? nice. God, he's that's super sick. chill. He made the whole thing seem like, like it, like it was. You know, it was a big deal for them. A new show launch, and he's just like, I right, just don't even matter. I'm just doing a thing. You guys wow. have fun. I want to promote all your stuff. You know, and like it's me, and I bring my friend who's also a comedian. And he's like, I want to promote her stuff. I'm on. You know, it's just real. Damn. above and beyond just a real great guy like everything positive that you hear about him is a hundred percent true Damn. and like i love that dude I, I he's just super cool Damn. so what kind of games did you guys play wild fun weird game you know like they just take pot party games and they give them they just take them to flavor town you know yeah. put, a, <laughs> put a little spin on them my okay. favorite game we played was like a hot potato type game where we had to answer questions and they had loaded a giant baked potato uh full of confetti so if the timer went out and the potato was in front of you it just blasted your face with <laughs> confetti it's a real fun time it's a good that's awesome it's classic television man the game show format, you know, p- people hate, but it's, you can't beat it. Mm-hmm. I feel like I game know. shows in general, they're just, they are good. You know, some people like a story, some people hate a story, but like you can put on a game show and if it hits right, people are into that. Oh, for yeah. Like decades. Yeah. You know, and I love them. I would love, like, that. that is one of my bucket list things is to like host a full game show like Family Feud or um, Price is Right or just you know something different and new either way I would yeah. love I feel my that matches my temperament perfectly because I yeah. get excited I want people to win yeah you know? yeah. yeah we um, we're trying to craft we're trying to craft one for YouTube so nice. we'll hit you well, up we man. did well, I mean we produced we did, one we, the, yeah, we, you, people saw it at the beginning of this so oh, yeah, that they was did. like our first like little venture into that yeah. realm but yeah. that was fun there's this guys have do real prizes. Do you have to do standards and practices and stuff? 
No, 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 no. We just, <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, are you no. talking about like the game show? Like, there's real rules? like game show cops. Like, if you do a real game show there that has money involved, there's like game show cops that like oh. make sure nobody cheats, nobody knows the answers ahead of time. If really? They, if they have any type of inkling that your game show is not truly on the level, they'll shut your production down. Oh, so we, damn, we need to get the game show to police. <laughs> To make it real. Yeah. Damn. So you had to like check, like they were on set mm -hmm. for the Guy Fieri thing? Mm hmm. They were, oh no, was well, the guy won money? No, but I did another one recently I can't talk about yet, but it, um, where they were real, they were just making sure that I didn't know the answers and I didn't, you know, they, yeah. It was Damn. Real, real. Do the production have to pay them to do that? Yeah. What a genius How did racket. You get into that. Yeah, we got to know the guy who started that. Yeah. It's like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you need someone here to make sure no one's cheating, right? They're like, yeah, that's this a good is really idea. fun. There should be a cop here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's having a good time, and this is super sick. You know what this needs? Tension, <laughs> tension. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We need someone here to make it very uncomfortable. Yeah, someone enforcing the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No, we didn't. We didn't have that. We just competed in a game of. Um, uh, we put our pride on the line. Okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. And our last. Oh, I can't. I can, we can't. Can't ruin it. Fuck. Can't spoil it. Yeah. But yeah. Um. There's this. There's this board game that I play with Kelsey's family, and it's like you have a ping pong ball and a solo cup and like a straw and like popsicle sticks, and they just make you do different challenges what? with that, and it's the funnest board game I've ever played. But is there an actual board? Mm -hmm. That's my. No, it's not. But it's just little. It's like a little version of a game show. Yeah, but how do you how, how do you, how do you play like who how, what the oh you have like points and shit like that yeah but what determines how you do the the thing because you're saying a little board game it's not a no board, board game it's like a it I comes in a box it's like a game you play we with. need to get the cops yeah, involved yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you don't smoke weed because this sounds like a very high game yeah. <laughs> No, it's like you're just playing beer pong, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it was actually. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's but what, what is the game? flip cup? <laughs> I forget what it's called. It's called like. I don't know. Do you like roll ball. a dice? Yeah. Okay. You do. So you roll a dice. Yeah. And depending what you get, then it picks. The, then it shows you the challenge. Like the card will be like, all right, okay, challenge is you have it. to, like, uh, like take the cup in your mouth and like flip it with your mouth and have it land. Okay. And if like you wager, so it's like everyone has little things. So you're like, I think like you know, I wager five points that I can do this in three tries. Okay. And if you don't do it, then you lose that. But if you do it, then you got it. Does it's just fun for the whole family. Yeah, yeah. I was skeptical, but the more you described it, it sounds kind of <laughs> There's just so many things you can do with like just, you know, supplies like that. Yeah. So many little games you can play. No, I mean, uh, I think coming up with game show ideas is the number one thing that I'm always banking. Like I'm always just coming up with dumb game show ideas. Uh, it's like the last year. I was like just this notes app list. I'm like, damn, I want to do all of these one day. But okay. Oh. I was gonna ask you to say something, but it sounds serious. I don't want no. I mean, the the one that like my north star right now, yeah, just fight to the death. Yeah, yeah. just like casual <laughs> ideas, okay, stuff like that. Two of them I want to do. So my north star is uh, I really want to do this one. Rogue Fitness. If you're watching, help me. I want to do. I want to call. I'm gonna call it Connect Forty Five, and it's Connect Four on a giant Connect Four grid, but it's forty five pound weights, and it's like a, it's like endurance like infused into like a just a regular board game okay yeah so okay. It, you know i thought that could be interesting because it could be teams you could like mm -hmm. add different challenges of how you're able to like procure the weight to put the point in so mm -hmm. it could get very american ninja warrior if you want it like i'm picturing right, like, right. like or a, it could be connect 45 you <laughs> just 40 normal size yeah. connect four board but you have to connect <laughs> 45 just gigantic <laughs> And it would take Takes nine hours. Long yeah. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Long game. Yeah. You get the 44 and a guy blocks you and you <laughs> just start crying. Like, no. <laughs> I just want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> You've been here for three weeks, man. The host is like, my family has no food. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Where is 26 red? <laughs> <Yeah>. 25. <laughs> <laughs> Cody has it's 40 day four of yeah. the Connect 45 challenge. <laughs> Cody has 43 red, and we're all hoping. <laughs> and Noel blocks. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I guess they're going to 
Start over. <laughs> <laughs> just that sound of like the fucking the thing unlocking from the yeah, bottom, yeah, just the just, <laughs> <laughs> just like an infinite rain. Just. <laughs> oh, is this the game? This is the game. Beat that. Beat that. Beat and that. <laughs> what a <laughs> yeah, kind of a inappropriate name for a no I mean, family game. I think it's it's funny. It's like almost jerk that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you got a little bit of everything involved. Yeah, That's dude. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna play that. Did you did you guys grow up what uh, that game Kerplunk? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You remember Kerplunk? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, damn. What was I remember the name, but what was the game? It was uh where you take a shit. No. Um <laughs> it was like a it's like a little tube where you would put a bunch of like sticks through it and you load the top with marbles. Oh yeah. 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 Damn. That was a good game, but I feel like Jenga really like destroyed that game. It did. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> Jenga everyone's like, oh we don't have to get wet. Yeah. There's no water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's easier. Yeah. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Babbel. You know, I've always wanted to go to Spain. I've been practicing my Spanish and I really want to flaunt my new skills. Let's hear some of it. Bueno. Bueno. Si, sí, muchacho. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For all of your summer travels, Gracias. whether you're going abroad Sorry. or staying domestic and want to immerse yourself in the culture, now is the perfect time to start Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language les lessons. <laughs> Fucking Sean Connery. <laughs> Thanks to Babbel's addictively <laughs> fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. <laughs> I've quite enjoyed my Babbel lessons. They're super fun and easy on the go. <laughs> what language are you learning, Sean? Um, I'm learning... Portuguese. Yeah, Portuguese and <laughs> Spanish. Um, with Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson, so you can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. <gasps> Plus, Babbel's speech recognition te technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash TMG. That's babbel.com slash TMG for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Basically, so I was like going down this... Because I was just trying to come up with some YouTube video. Just kind of a similar thing. Like, I'm just trying to keep it interesting. And so I was looking at all these classic board games. Connect 45 is, I calculated it. The amount of, so there's 42 pieces in the standard Connect 4. And that would be like 2,000 pounds of weight. Like, if I were to actually get 42 uh, plates for the game. And even like a standard like Toyota Tundra can only haul like a thousand or like 1500 pounds. That's the limit. So like I went through this whole thing. I'm like, all right, to pull this off is insane. So then I was like, dude, could I do Kerplunk with like fucking essentially like barbells <laughs> and like giant handballs? I was just like trying to exaggerate all of these stupid games into these like monstrosities where you like, my vision is to like be able to like call you and be like, yo, dude, I need to shoot a YouTube video. You have to come over. We're doing a giant kerplunk and you're like the fuck is that and you just show up to this apparatus you're like dude you're like wear gym shorts <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this I'm like dude it's trust me it's gonna be, be fun be careful when you make the games no, normal games bigger it, yeah. you might murder people yeah that's I, I think that's the main problem is all my ideas pose the threat of death yeah then yeah. you won't have the game show cops. That's the real cops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's what happened to Bobby, Bobby Moynihan and I before we were on the guy show. We had our own game show with Slip and Slide where we made all the Slip and Slides really big. Oh. And we would put 70-year-olds down them or retired NBA players. <laughs> what? And then 
we were in a very farmish area and there were a lot of parasites in the water apparently and we gave 40 people diarrhea and they shut our production down you are joking no what? i wish it's still a, a nightmare wow oh my i talked God. to a lady who got she said she had to go to the hospital twice <gasps> Because she got too much diarrhea. From the parasite and the slip and slide water? Yeah. She said she, it was the closest in her adult life that she ever thought that she was like, you know what? I'm just going to put on a diaper. Is what she said. <laughs> with no, it was just all seriousness in her face. <laughs> Damn, I would have, man. I shouldn't even be laughing now. And she said that not a, not as a joke. She was like, no, that was that bad. That yeah, that was that bad. She was like, I'm just going to put on a diaper. Because that's, I mean, that's wild. I mean, when you, you know, even with regular diarrhea, you kind of know it's coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she, it was just spilling out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it's wild. What, when was that? It was a couple years ago. I was really excited because I was like, oh, this is going to be a job maybe I'm going to do for years. Maybe they're going to put me and Bobby's faces on the cover of Slip and Slides. <laughs> and we're going to lead into a whole Slip and Slide resurgence where it's the summer of Slip and Slide. And it's all because of Bobby and Ron Funches. And I don't got like $20 million of Slip and Slide money. <laughs> I was it, I was calculating it. Yeah. I was like, you, you know? And then... then Smash cut <laughs> woman on the toilet just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just FaceTime and run. Yeah, it's not it's never gonna stop. <laughs> yeah. 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 And they were Holy. like, Oh, we gotta shut it down for a day and they're like, We gotta shut it down for a week and then they were like, We just gotta shut it down. <laughs> Dang. Dang. I know. We shot eight of the ten episodes. It was wild. Wow. It's crazy that something as fun and as happy as a slip and slide yeah. can end in such tragedy. Yeah. Truly. <laughs> Damn. I mean, are you? Did you even like get to keep any of the footage or like any of that? No, or? no, no one. They don't want people to see. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just such a crazy they thing to just be like. Grudge up memories. Hey, check out this crazy show we made. <laughs> Everyone got diarrhea, but it was genius. It was really fun. It was yeah. just good, silly time. You know, sometimes people had to go up the slip and slides. That's hard. Oh, like. When we grease them all up, and make yeah. them wild. Yeah, it was a bunch of like carnival games. We had like a giant whack-a-mole style game, but in a full slip and slidey type area. So it's all greasy and stuff. It was a fun time. And then the whole time me and Bobby are just making fun of everybody. <laughs> so I was like, I'm ready to do this till I retire. <laughs> what was that supposed to be on? Like what? It was going to be on NBC. It was going to be like Damn. a big NBC. It was supposed to be on right. It was during the Olympic times. So it was going to be on right after the Olympic closing ceremony. It was going to be that show. Damn. And then uh, they couldn't do it anymore. So it sucked but at least i got some you know i got paid for that first season but i was like i was remember telling my manager and i was like this feels like at least four or five seasons that we're gonna be doing this <laughs> it was not to be it was not to be was it a show that you had put together and pitched or was it like no they just literally i was getting ready to go do some independent movie um but they were being kind of like standoffish as far as like paying me. So they were um, trying to hardball, negotiate. And I was like, oh, whatever, but let me know when it's done. And like the day before I was about to sign this contract, I get a call from Bobby Moynihan and he was like, do you want to come hang out with me on some slip and slides and just make fun of people for way more money? And I was <laughs> like, hell yeah, I want to do that. Wait, so the, then you didn't do the... No! It, that's awesome. So that movie go fuck it, son. Yeah, that's so good. Damn. He chose what over our project? Yeah. <laughs> everyone everyone, oh, make, fuck. everyone, making that art over there, like, yeah, I don't blame him. That sounds way better than what <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, doing the whole right crew. now. It's like, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. No, I knew Actually, some people like, well, acting on it. They said I made the right choice. Yeah, damn. <laughs> damn. I just know that whoever's negotiating, when they found out everyone got diarrhea, they're like, Kitsy, you should have stayed and made the art run. Yeah, right? You should have stayed with us. Yeah. No one here got diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> but Damn, it was super bro. cool. They, you know, it was a beautiful, I mean, that's, it was one of those too good to be true. They pick me up in the morning in the car, and they drive me for like 40 minutes, and I would know it was time to go to work when I like look up and I just see a giant red and yellow slip and slide. Yeah. And then I just, you know, dressed up like I worked at a water park, just little khaki shorts and a polo shirt everything was pretty much ad-lib it was the best job i've ever had dang 
And they never aired it because of the Parasite stuff? Because we couldn't finish the episodes. We didn't have a grand finale. Yeah. So. Wow. Wow. I know. Damn. I, I just, I know there had to be a producer on that that's like, so we're sure none of them got diarrhea. <laughs> There's no way we can tie this show together. <laughs> we're, we're right Is there. Is there a happy ending? Could we put a bow on this whole diarrhea thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> can, we make, can we make it a positive? We'll use that yeah. again. <laughs> they come back from diarrhea and they take down the slide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the diarrhea hunger games. They all band together to defeat this parasite. Maybe they're having so much fun that it caused the diarrhea. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> Jesus. So what's your what's your favorite thing that you have done or that, that you're doing right now? That, yeah, that, that, yeah. Gave, gave 40 people diarrhea. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> That's such a crazy i'm sorry i'm just like stunned by the turn in that conversation You're like yeah man i want to make giant g game show videos like, yeah, you gotta be careful with that man you might give <laughs> a thousand people diarrhea <laughs> <laughs> whoa <laughs> shit i'm just saying you, no no you, you, I know, think, you think you think it's gonna end up fun yeah yeah, never know. that was my fear though. Like I started processing what it would mean to do this Connect 45 show and I just imagined casting someone and they go to lift the first plate up and then you just hear like a and they're like, I can't, my left leg is numb. And you're like, like oh God, uh, they oh, no, as soon as you told me the idea, I thought you'd get sued. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I saw the potholes in that. Right? <laughs> just a grandma just eating yeah. it and you know, face planting <laughs> on a Marjorie, plate. she's 80 years old. She's yeah. our first contestant. People are like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're like it's not just even one time you're like you gotta do these 45 pounds yeah. <laughs> do this game so <laughs> you're just like <laughs> damn it's just she's just moving super slow yeah just, like and no one's gonna help her she's gonna <laughs> get it all the way yeah no to matter. the top that would shut your game show down if yeah. somebody helped her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, someone goes to hell to the fucking game show police. Are like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> solo. <laughs> rules say solo. <laughs> hey, rules are rules. Yeah, hey, hey. Come on, Marjorie. We believe you. don't want to go to game show prison, do you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking Rikers Island for everyone that's ever cheated a game show. Man. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Yeah, do you have anything else besides um yeah, diarrhea extravaganza that is like a top five for you? <laughs> um I mean the show loot is real experience for me for, for so many reasons. Like I'm used to being on shows that um either like most people don't watch or little cult hits or but for it to be on a show with like heavy hitters and people who've won Emmys and mm. stuff like that. And it's Apple TV too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Prestige, you know, the yeah. like it's word for it is prestige TV. And to be on a show like that and watch it and see like it looks like a movie. Yeah. And, and then be like, oh my acting's good. Like yeah. you know, and that's a lot for me coming from like straight stand up world and like I never like most of these that's the thing that gets me first intimidated and then proud when I'm like, man, I'm acting with all these people who went to like high school for acting yeah, and yeah. college for acting and it was just something that i didn't start until i turned 30 you yeah. know and so to be able to do that and keep up with them is real um personally it's a real um thing i'm proud of yeah um and are you shooting season two uh right we now? will in a few months yeah. nice yeah very cool yeah so I'm excited about that to get back to work on that do they shoot out here or is it mm -hmm. mm, nice. yeah they use the one Oh, do they? Set, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Crazy. It's wild. Mm -hmm. That's so. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it is wild. Uh, so that one's great. And then I really like being on Harley Quinn, um, just because I like nerd stuff like that. Yeah. So that's been real cool. And then just one that like not even people saw that much, but this show called Poorly Drawn Lines, mm. um, which is based off this like web comic, but it's like the exact humor that like I would watch thinking that I wanted to get into comedy before I got into comedy like when, when I was just younger watching all the like early adult swim cartoons and yeah. stuff and to be on a cartoon like that where it's like super nerdy and super um stony and super fun is and smart yeah is um 
dream come true for me. So like, even though not that many people have seen that one, but like when people come up, I had some people come up to me this last weekend and they were like, we love you, it's Kevin. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that's sick. Guys, it just kind of made me be like, oh, you guys are cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the deep it, cut. Is voice acting like just a dream job? Um, I mean, I love it just because it's free. Like, I can do so many things. Like, yeah. with, with acting, you can only, like, I can't go be a series regular on another show or anything like that. I, but with voice acting, I can do as many as I can get. So it's real cool, and it's fun to be different characters. It's fun to, like, work in my pajamas. And just <laughs> as a guy who, like, used to work at a grocery store and used to work at a bank and stuff and be like, Man, why am I here for like eight hours? Like, yeah. there ain't even all this stuff to do all the time to have this job now where I'm like, you know, I might get scheduled for like two, three hours, but if I get my work done in 30 minutes, they're like, all right, let's go. Yeah. You know, and I love that. Like, to me, that's what work is. It's like, if you can get it done, if I come in prepped and ready and I can knock it out in 45 minutes and have the rest of my day to go stream and play video games or hang out with my kids, is it's the best. Yeah. yeah. I love that. What bank did you work at? Where did this bank called Wachovia Bank, uh, the call center, bank call center in um, Salem, Oregon. See? Bank call centers. Yeah. Man. It crafts. You did too? Yeah. I worked at a, a bank call center as well. Uh, uh, it was like, a, it was ING Direct. It was like a savings bank only. Did you just, just basically take calls from old people and say like, hey, <laughs> like- Transfer their money and a lot of that about debit cards. Yeah. And I, I was in that era when I worked at a bank. They still they didn't have the rules where they couldn't do the uh, difference between your available balance and your real balance. Oh, so I was in that era where they'd be like, "Oh, your balance said you had eighty dollars, but you really only had three dollars, and you overdrew your account by like." three purchases so we gave you ninety dollars in fees and they'd be trying to you know tell you how to explain it to these people and <laughs> people just be like you're screwing me over and i i just didn't have it i just be like yeah yeah i agree with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're right it's ridiculous <laughs> you overdrew by three dollars and you got ninety dollars in fees it's crazy <laughs> so i gave away a lot of money yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you were like in that period of call center would they um, would they like do that? Would your supervisors like bring you in and like review your call? Oh yeah, yeah. That oh, yeah. dude, that whole shit is so awkward. Like you had to take the call in front of them. No, oh, sometimes that, but sometimes or they, they had would a recording. They would have a recording. Oh of you. god. Yeah, and not only the recording of your voice, they have recording of your screen and what you're doing. Yeah. And so for me, who was often not doing what they said they were doing <laughs> on the screen, they would. I remember one time in particular, they were like. I was like looking up I think this was yeah Mario Kart DS was the thing so I was just looking up like Mario Kart tricks <laughs> and like shortcuts <laughs> while going over this call and they were like well you gave them all the correct information <laughs> But you, the whole time, <laughs> you're on. Like you're an incredible cockiness. multitasker. Yeah. Yeah. No, they didn't checking look, on that right oh, now, ma'am. Checking I on wish that right they now. They had looked at it. That way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like literally, no universe. Yeah. You're like, um. So let's be a good boy. Yeah. Let's get off of Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, that shit was so. It was the worst. Listening back to your customer service voice, like because mm -hmm. we had to put that shit on. Mm -hmm. At least I would commit to it, and just hearing like that do version. Yours, do yeah, yours. can you do it? Can you do it right now? Um, I was kind of doing it uh, last week with Zach and Waleed, but it would be like you know very. Uh, I'm trying to remember like some of the phrases we would have. It'd be like, now I see here you just have a savings account. Do you know about our electric orange checking account? <laughs> it was just like that tone. It's pretty good. Thanks. What about yours? Oh, I'll do mine for yeah, sure. Hit it. I'll go. Uh, thank you for banking with Wachovia. This is Ron speaking. How may I help you today? Hey, um, uh, you know, I'm. I had four bucks left in my account, and I bought a Birkin bag. <laughs> so I'm seriously overdrafted right now, and I got no warning about the four dollars in my account. So. Well, let me look into your account for you right away. Um, I see here that you put your account number in. I just need to verify the last four digits of your social, if you don't mind. Give me your full social security yeah. number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like it, hearing those back, at least for me, I don't know if you felt this way, or I just like, ugh, like, 
fucking who is that yeah it was just always so phony and um my, a lot of mine they thought i was a southern lady so I would. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes i'd play into it <laughs> that's so I'm like what if they call if they're getting mad at ronda <laughs> who's gonna call back nobody's gonna know it was me i hated that job so much especially if it got into anything of like real banking stuff it got to the point like if something was real like i would just tell them to call me back tomorrow and then i just wouldn't come back to work the next day yeah nice <laughs> nice i go i'm gonna take the day off and then somebody else will have to do it and i'll <laughs> just, come back to work the next day yeah, just handle it yeah i think the weirdest encounter i had was i had a lady hit on me she was she's a lot older um She's like asking me about her account and in the middle of the conversation. She goes, I mean, you got a nice voice. <laughs> I go, thank you. She's like, yeah, where are you located? I'm like, oh, we're out here in Los Angeles. She's like, Los Angeles, you must be a model or something. I was like, nah, nah. You're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this job's boring. Yes, I am. Yes, Dude, I, what I wish. do in their daytime. Yeah. But because I was like, just imagining this is the call I get reviewed. You know, I'm like, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be serious right now. So I go, nah, nah, not a model. She's like, yeah, you must be like an underwear model or something. <laughs> yeah. And I go, uh, I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm sure it pays better than this, but or you know, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But nah, I'm not an underwear model. And then she goes, I'm going to be on TV. She's like, yeah, look me up next week. And she names some obscure channel in the state that she's in. She's like, I'm going to be on a gardening show. You'll get to see me. I'm like, okay. Well, your balance is like fifty thousand dollars, so I don't know. If you... oh, she's doing well. Yeah, 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 she's doing very well. Doing <laughs> very gardening well. shows pay, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like hey. you should have taken your shot at yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, my f and man, before you go, what are you wearing? Yeah, <laughs> you seem like an underwear model. <laughs> Would you buy me a PlayStation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, I have a keen interest in Mario Kart DS, and <laughs> I would just love to have a version of the game for myself. Man. My weirdest thing was that I had a guy who either was or sounded just like and has the same real name of that character Space Ghost. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I had to handle his some stuff with his account, and he was not very nice. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he was like... Yo, know, this is fucking up my childhood right yeah, now. Yeah, it really did. Space I was like, Ghost I hope this is cussing me out. I hope you're not really the space ghost. I hope you're not a real space ghost. But he he was like, I'm space ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, this is space ghost, and I am an asshole. Yeah. He was pretty much making sure he's like, I'm I'm s i am i am space ghost if you don't if you think I am space ghost. He, oh, really? Like yeah. he voiced the character? Yeah. Oh, what? Damn. And he was an ass? Yeah, he's not, yeah, Aww. he's not nice. Damn. He's not nice, but who knows? Maybe he's having a bad day. Uh, but What a, what a sweet, lat, unique experience for sure. What? Yeah. <laughs> I've handled Space Ghost money, and let me tell you. Yeah, what was easy. his balance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, your lady was doing better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, okay. Okay, maybe that's why he's upset. Maybe. <laughs> he's like, I'm a motherfucking space ghost and shit. Didn't pay bad. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a legend. This shit's bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just chewing Ron out. Yeah. Overdrawn right now. Yeah. <laughs> and if you think I'm the guy, I am the guy. <laughs> yeah, so give me my money. Yeah, give me my back. fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems like what he would have looked like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah. see his face. I only heard his voice, but I'm pretty sure. That is dumb unique. Okay. I want to end it on this because I was about to say there's some people that don't know Space Ghost. So oh, for sure they don't. Yeah. So he's like, you know, he's a character on Cartoon Network. He had like this like animated late night show. But so last week I made a comment. We we're, we're, uh, He mentioned a smart car and I go, oh man, there's some people that don't know what a smart car is. And that was more of like an acknowledgement of our age, right? I got a message, dude. So upset. They took it so personally. They were like, why the fuck do you feel the need to condescend us? I know what a smart car is. I'm like, hey. <laughs> so, you know, now I feel like I got to be careful, like qualifying, like, you know, it's not a personal dig at you if you don't know who Space Coast is. Well, you okay? said you were like Gen Z doesn't know what a smart car is, right? Maybe. Yeah, maybe I generalized it. 
And I only got yeah. All the comments were like, "Dude, we know what it is." They were upset. Yeah, mad at me. So all right, you know, maybe Gen Z does know Space Ghost. My bad. <laughs> but anyway, right in. Yeah, let us know. Right in. Do you know Space Ghost? <laughs> <laughs> let us know in the comments if you know. Who That's Space how I feel about most of my comedy, though, because it's a lot of referential to the things that I grew up watching, and yeah. I got to a point where I'm like, man, not. It used to be that mostly everybody was too old for my references. And I'm like, now I go, now some of my audience is too young and too old for yeah, my references. Yeah. You really got to just be born when I was born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a 21 year old in the front row. Like, I don't know who Brian Pillman is. Sorry. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sorry, man. Still you just got to get catch these up. Rugrats jokes. <laughs> Even though my, yeah, my son's like, we all on, we on Kim Possible now. <laughs> Damn, Kim Possible. Mm -hmm. Damn, throwback. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the throwback. But for me, the throwback was Rugrats. Yeah, so it's wild. Yeah. D oh, fuck. We could go on forever. Do you have you read any of those? I'm sure you have those Rugrats conspiracies or like those like alt. You know, like how like they're all imagined by like all all the yeah, kids okay. were imagined yeah, by yeah, Chucky. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what it is? Right. It's it's Chucky imagined. Or which one of them, that's like the, the leading one where it's like one of the kids imagined everyone. Because of like trauma or something? Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm trying. Something like super dark. Yeah, like that, right? I think it was Chucky Belf of the um, trauma from his parents getting divorced. Yeah. yeah that was one of the. the it was Angelica. Oh, was it Angelica? Was it? The Rugrats theory. Oh. Oh, no, that actually makes more sense. Um. The Rugrats are really figment of demonic them. and unimaginable, unimaginable imagination. Ch Chucky died in 1986, oh along with his mother. Fuck. That's why Chaz is a nervous wreck all the time. I'm gonna say I, dis I disagree with it just because <laughs> it makes me sad. Yeah, 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 yeah no, me no. too. I yeah, I don't want this no, at all. That, not at all. <laughs> oh, this gets way dark. Yeah, oh. Jesus Christ. Yo. The little babies and the only problems they have can be solved with a screwdriver. That's yeah. it. They can get them out of their little playpen. Yeah. yeah. That is wild to think Tommy just like, yeah. just at he all had that times. that shank on him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Just> prison train. <laughs> <laughs> That's frightening. A one-year-old just <laughs> so good with it too. Man. <laughs> you always had it on him. All right, it's bedtime. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it ain't. No, it ain't. <laughs> That's okay. You can stay awake. It's yeah. all good. Yeah, do your thing, brother. <laughs> What's it like? You, you said you have a newborn. Yeah, four. Yeah, it's four months. Now. Four months. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Is this number two. Yeah. 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 Nineteen year old and a four month old. Damn. Wow. Damn. How's that? How's it's fun? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, you know, it's less stressful than the, you know, when I had my first son. I was like, I had just turned twenty, so um no money just but very motivating i wouldn't be where i was or am if it wasn't for my oldest son um and then new baby is just like nice to not worry about diaper money or yeah stuff like that just to be like oh we got we we, we got that so everything else is kind of you know even though we, i'm more tired now yeah but everything is beautiful i love yeah. it yeah, I love being a dad. I just think um, when I'm not, when I'm left to my own devices, I kind of just float around. I don't have a lot of, um, not motivation, not the word, but a lot of standards for myself. Sure. Like, you know, I'm just like, oh, whatever. But for my sons, like I have a high standards of what they need to have. So like in order for me to live like that, I have to be taking care of somebody else. It hmm. motivates me, keeps me going. Yeah, that's amazing. You gotta end it on that. Yeah, that's really inspiring on <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it is. That's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's so sick. <laughs> I like my kids. Yeah. yeah. Inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write in if you have a father that likes you as well. <laughs> yeah. Remember, Ryan, if you are aware of uh smart cars. Yeah. And, and, and space and space, space goes, goes yeah. man. Let us know. And if you know Andre Paradise, also write in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was he your piano teacher too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Andre now. He'd be like, You maggot, you didn't call me. <laughs> 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 Anyways, everybody. Uh, dude, thanks so much. Thank for you so much on, for coming. Of course, on, dude. really this appreciate awesome. it. Uh, yeah, go. I mean, what 
like yeah, plug, Spotify, whatever. Sure. Instagram, Twitter. Just Ron Funches is my name, and then you know you're on the internet right now, so you probably know how to use it. Just <laughs> use it to follow all the things I do. I got a YouTube channel where I post my podcasts and stuff and clips. You can find my half hour comedy special. You can find my hour comedy special on YouTube. You can find out about Loot, my Apple TV show. You can find out about Harley Quinn, uh, which is on HBO Max. And I got other stuff coming, but the more I say, the more I'm like, I, I feel like I'm just bragging. So <laughs> c- come see me do stand-up. Maybe romfunches.com. That's it. Damn, Woo. We got to get some credit. Seriously, what God the damn. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we don't do shit. Yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> this week on the Bone Zone. You stink. Did you fart? Oh, gross. What the fuck was that shit you said at the end? That shit was horrible, man. Guys, <laughs> are you here? Your boy's goofy enough. Yeah. We're just on the our periods are yeah that's what it is. Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at (laughs) tmgstudios.tv.